the goal of capital budgeting analysis is to determine whether a project is profitable based on today's dollar value. This approach is appropriate because the project costs are in today's dollar value and the expected cash flows from the projects are in future dollar value. To make a decision on whether to accept or reject a project today, both cost and future cash flows must be in today's dollar value. The factors involved in capital budgeting decisions are future sales, expected cash flows, capital expenditure, timing. The purpose of any investment is to generate profit. To generate profit, first the firm needs to generate sales, manage costs, produce positive cash flows that are large enough to recover the investment and generate profit. In addition, business does not have access to unlimited capital and the availability of capital will influence the investment decision. The timing of each cash flow affects the present value of cash flow and the timing of investment will affect the future revenues. Capital budgeting projects are generally classified as replacement, expansion, safety, security and environment and other. Companies have to replace old equipment because of breakdowns, lower productivity, or technological obsolescence to maintain the production capability of the firm. Replacement projects are the most common capital budgeting project in the business. Expansion project occurs as a result of company's strategy to produce new product or to enter new market or new industries. A change in environment and government regulation leads to safety, security, and environmental projects. Other projects are research and development projects based on the strategic planning of the firm. The goal of the capital budgeting analysis is to determine the profitable of the project. Profitability of the project is determined by analyzing three cash flows of the project. One, cash outflows, the money invested in the project. Two, cash inflows, money generated from the investment. Three, terminal year cash flows, money received from the sale of the used assets at the end of the project. Let's draw a timeline for capital budgeting project. Assuming the life of the project is five years, cash outflows are posted on the left-hand side at period zero. The cash flows are negative because money is going out of the company. Cash flows generated from the project are referred to as cash inflows and occurs after the investment. They are positive because money is coming into the firm. Assuming that the equipment can be salvaged, the salvage value and any other end of the year cash flows from the project are posted on the year five. The goal of the capital budgeting analysis is to determine profitability of the project. The investment in the project is made on period zero and the cash flows will be received at a future date. In capital budgeting analysis, all the future cash flows, which is CF1, CF2, CF3, CF4, CF5, and terminal year cash flows for year five are brought to today's value by computing the present value of the cash the difference between the present value of the cash flows and the initial investment is referred to as net present value. If the present value of future cash flows from the project is greater than initial investment, the net present value is positive and project is profitable. The following are commonly used decision criteria to evaluate capital budgeting project. Number one, payback period. Number two, net present value. Number three, internal rate of return. Number four, modified internal rate of return. Number five, profitability index. Payback period. Payback period is the amount of the time required to recover initial investment in a project. It ignores the time value of money. Net present value. Net present value is the difference between present value of cash inflows and present value of cash outflows. Internal rate of return. Internal rate of return is the rate of return at which the net present value of the project is equal to zero. In the IRR calculation, it is assumed that cash flows from the project are reinvested at the internal rate of return. Modified internal rate of return. Modified internal rate of return is based on the assumption that cash flows from the projects are reinvested at the cost of capital, which is weighted average cost of capital. Initial investment is equated to the sum of the future cash flows that were reinvested at the cost of capital to compute the interest rate. Profitability index. Profitability index is the ratio between present value of cash inflows and present value of cash outflows. Project acceptance or rejection criteria. If net present value is greater than or equal to zero, project is acceptable. If the net present value is less than zero, reject the project. Internal rate of return is greater than or equal to cost of capital, project is acceptable. If, it's, if the IRR is less than cost of capital, reject the project. Modified internal rate of return greater than or equal to cost of capital except the project. If MIRR is greater than or equal to cost of capital, project is acceptable. If MIRR is less than cost of capital, reject the project. If profitable index is greater than the one, accept the project. Profitable index is less than one, reject the project.